Hello everyone, this is Mayu and Jay and today the purpose of this video is to show you a quick video review of the Elphone P8. This device all the way around, it is great. I have tested it now for a few days and it is quite amazing. So just to start with and going through the physical aspects, here on the side we have the volume rockers up and down. At the very bottom we have the charging port together with the microphone. Now something I didn't like is that it doesn't have the USB 3.0 so that's definitely a downer but it still it works very well. On the right side it has the power button and then on the top it has the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and this time you have no IR sensor and then here at the front we have a 5.7 multi-touch screen 1080p and then on the front here also we have the uh, ear speaker we have the LED light on the left side here we have some sensors and together with the 5 megapixel front facing camera at the very bottom we have the home button and then here we have the menu button and the back button Overall, the operating system is very good. I did an update not too long ago, and I'm gonna be providing the link below. And as you can see this time, it looks more like the uh, Note 3 with the touch whiz, and it looks actually very nice. Uh, this screen is also an IPS screen because as you can see on viewing angles, it has beautiful colors, and actually it is uh, quite sensitive. Now, with this new theme, I just noticed that on the main page, it is a little bit laggy. I don't see why. I think it's uh, the way they build it. Um, but now, when you go here to the app tray, it works a lot smoother. As you can see, I mean, it did lag a little bit there at the beginning, but it's not so uh, critical. Then here, I did a, an Antutu benchmark, and it gave me a score of about 26,000. Uh, let me see here if I can take you back. So as you can see, it's 26,616. So that definitely shows that it is, yes, an MTK6592 device. Here we have the system information. It says Elphone P8 uh, with Android 4.2.2. Here we have the MTK. It is a 1080p screen with a 13 megapixel back camera. Now the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel, but it's pretty good. It's a little bit thinner than the original Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So here we have it on millimeters. And we're going to go ahead here from the side and see how much it is. And as you can see, it's about 8.0. So it is definitely thinner than the original. Now also another thing I'm going to test now is the Bluetooth. Here I have my little uh, Bose. And let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, I think I already have it here recorded somewhere. Let's go to settings. And uh, let's see, let's go back here. Oops, no, this is the Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead here to settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to turn it on. All right, and here it has connected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to device. Okay, voice call ringtones. And let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, and also the back speaker is also very loud. Uh, let me go ahead and increase the volume here. And as you can see, it did pretty good. Now here, let's go ahead and open the back. This phone is also dual SIM, dual standby. It has a battery of 2800 milliamps and it actually did pretty good throughout the whole day. And here we see that I have the uh, Straight Talk SIM card. It also supports uh, TF cards, okay? Now another thing I'm going to do also is uh, test the camera. So please watch this footage and let me know what you think. This is the camera test on the Elphone P8 and as you can see it is definitely a 13 megapixel camera. And it is uh, pretty nice just like the uh, previous clone that I did for the Note 3 uh, with the MTK6592. So the camera is pretty nice. And I'm also going to test here the uh, front facing camera. Alright guys, so here we have the front facing camera on the Elphone P8 and the front facing camera is uh, 5 megapixels and as you can see the quality is not so bad. Here we saw the camera test, uh, the back camera as well as, as the front camera and as you can see it did very well. Also this device supports 3G on Straight Talk but not T-Mobile uh, and it does work very well. Okay, and here we have the browser. Let's go ahead and navigate to uh, YouTube here.com and let's see how it does. And as you can see, it did pretty good. Now, uh, something I noticed that this software, I don't know if it has a lot of bloatware or what it is. 
it is lagging a little bit and that's not usual for an MTK6592 and for that reason I can say that I still prefer the replica of the Note 3 because it's much faster than this even though this has 2 GB of RAM and it has 16 GB of internal memory it is still uh, lagging on a lot of things that I've noticed and uh, the gaming is pretty good but now some games like Flappy Bird also tend to freeze up a little bit so I'm more than convinced that this has to be an issue with uh, either the uh, software in it or something maybe they put too much uh, bloatware um, on the operating system uh, but other than that I mean it's still it's a pretty good device and uh, here I'm also going to test the GPS Okay, so here we have the GPS test on the Elphone P8 and as you guys can see it is working very well here on the top left It has locked the signal already. I did need a uh, GPS status in order for it to lock a signal a little bit faster But other than that it is working perfectly well And as you saw the GPS also works pretty well I did have to use a uh, GPS status in order for it to lock a signal a little bit faster But other than that it did pretty well and no other modification was needed I'm also having um, some issues with, uh, with the root of this device, V root is no longer working so I gotta find another method but once I do I will keep you guys informed and again I'm gonna provide the update link on the bottom so that you can update your operating system as well as a video I made on how to do that. Uh, so that you can follow that as a guide. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait the device so that you see how it compares to the Note 3 so let's go ahead and turn it on. I believe I do have it in grams right now. So let's wait until this boots up and let's see how much it is. And it's about 169 grams. So it's not very, uh, it's not the heaviest, it's not the lightest either. But I do say that it is a little bit thinner and that makes it look very nice. And also, another thing I like is when the dis display is off, everything looks like one piece all together, as you can see here. And I do like that a lot. Especially even with the original Note 3, it doesn't have that. The original Note 3, the screen looks kind of like greenish, I would say. And on the clone, it looks a little bit too white, so it makes a difference with the remaining of the bezel. But this one is a little bit different on that side. Uh, well, that's it for this video, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. Comment below, subscribe for more, like the video. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.